London, this is Q Live. Britain, get ready to play. Live. I'm Marina Berry. It's 1 p.m. and today is Axel Rose's birthday. He's 57. There he is. Uh, it looks a bit like Benny Hill, actually. Uh, he's, of course, the lead singer of Guns N' Roses, and you could be living in Paradise City if you win £500 this afternoon. You know the deal by now. I'm going to ask you 12 questions. It's very easy to very hard. You have 10 seconds to tap each answer. Get all 12 right, and you'll win or split the cash. Now, before we get started, let's find out the winner of yesterday's Golden Q. Golden Q. Lily TC, you've won £50. Well done to you. Now, I've hidden another Golden Q somewhere in today's show. Get that question right, and you could be selected to win a bonus £50. So, even if you've already been eliminated, keep playing for your chance to win. Now, every day this week at 7, we're bringing you a mini game called Geo Genius. Now, simply answer six geography questions correctly and you could win a share of £100. And don't forget, I'll be back at three today with the free at three. But right now, it's time for the game that stops the nation. This could be your lucky day. Get ready to play. Let's play! Very good afternoon to 7,000 of you ready to win that £500. Let's get this show on the road then. Here's Q1. Which of these is a traditional accompaniment to fish and chips? Squishy carrots, mushy peas, pulpy broccoli. I do love fish and chips, though. Um, they have a fish and chip Friday here uh, in the canteen upstairs, and I love it. Um, I've always got that kind of that decision between fish or bad sausage. Fish or bad sausage. Uh, mushy peas is the answer. I normally have both. Uh, Q2. What is the name of the 2016 sequel to the film Finding Nemo? Finding Dory, Losing Marlin, or Finding Nemo again? Now, when pitching the idea of Finding Nemo to Pixar execs, they were sold on the idea after one word. Fish. That's right. <laughs> the answer is Finding Dory. Now, next up, we have a game of Q Let the Dogs Out. This is a picture of a breed of dog. So take a look at your screen because your question is about to pop right up. Q3. What species of dog is this? Rottweiler, Chihuahua or Dachshund? Now, I actually love dogs uh, and cats. I love all animals, actually. Um, but I do have a stray cat. Well, it's actually not stray. It belongs to a neighbour. Um, comes in and just wants the cheese. Just wants my cheese. It's called, well, we call it Captain White Socks because he's like black with like little white socks on. Uh, not real white socks, just, you know, the colour of him. Uh, Dashund is the answer. Don't forget, I've hidden one golden cue somewhere in today's show. If you get that right, you could win a £50 bonus, even if you've already been eliminated. Let's get back to the game. Q4. What is the name of the DJ best known for his partnership with Will Smith's Fresh Prince in the 80s and 90s? Jazzy Jeff, Rocky Rob or Poppy Pete? Will Smith says he's actually uh, really embarrassed by his earlier acting scenes in, uh, in Fresh Prince. And he cringes when watching them. A little bit like uh, Charlie, I would imagine, when he's watching his, uh, his first episodes on Q Live. Or actually, any episode of Charlie's, actually. All of them, all of them. Are highly embarrassing. Jazzy Jeff is the answer. And here's a picture of them back in the day. There they are. Oh, 90s fashion. Gotta love it. Uh, if, you know, if I could bring back 90s fashion. Or, in fact, it's quite fashionable now, isn't it? Uh, Q5. In 2011, Cadell Evans became the first Australian to win which sporting event? Snooker World Championship, Aintree Grand National or Tour de France? He won this event at the age of 34, making him one of the five oldest winners in the event's history. Well, I don't know about you, but that makes me feel ancient. Tour de France is the answer we were looking for. Q6. The Queen of Spain's beard is an episode in which series of Blackadder? Blackadder goes fourth, Blackadder two, or The Black Adder. Uh, Stephen Fry, Hugh Laurie, and Ryan Atkinson, who are all comic writers, were prone to changing a lot of the script. I have to do that here on Q Live. The jokes these people come up with are absolutely terrible. Uh, the answer is The Black Adder. You know what that was? <laughs> Q4. 
you know, only 25% of you actually knew the answer to that. Well done if you got it right. Uh, six down, six to go. Let's keep playing for that 500 pounds, shall we? Next up, we have a game of Q You Remember? This is a famous piece of pop art by Andy Warhol featuring Marilyn Monroe. So take a careful look at your screen because your question will appear shortly. Q7. What colour was Marilyn Monroe's hair in the bottom left image? Brown, pink, uh, green or pink? So brown, green or pink? We can see four individual Marilyns of various colours there, but what colour was the hair in the bottom left? Brown, green or pink? Brown, green or pink? The answer is brown. How observant were you? Uh, well done if you got that right. Q8. In what year was the first Apple iPhone released in the UK? 2006, 2007 or 2008? Now, do you know what? I dropped my iPhone down three flights of stairs. True story. About three or four weeks ago, and I couldn't believe it. It was untouched. Not a scratch, nothing. Three flights. Uh, <laughs> the answer is, seriously, 2007. It's got nine lives, this phone, seriously. Um, most of you knew that, so well done. Now, if you got knocked out on that question, use your extra life right now to get back into the game. Now it's time for question nine. Oh, it's a golden cue. This is worth 50 pounds to one player, even if you've already been eliminated. So get ready, because here we go. Q9. Of the following 20th century popes, who held the position for the longest period of time? Pius X, Pius XI, or Pius XII? This is worth 50 pounds to one player, even if you've already been knocked out of the game. How's your history? Pius XII is the answer. Well done if you got that right. Now, Sam will be announcing today's winner tomorrow at one. In the meantime, let's get back to the game. Q10. Of these Elton John singles, which was released in the UK the earliest? Crocodile Rock, Daniel or Rocket Man? So Elton John has achieved 37 gold and 27 multi-platinum albums and holds a record with the biggest selling single of all time. I like all of these songs. The answer is Rocket Man. Q11. If the chemical symbols of these elements were listed alphabetically, which would come last? Bismuth, Borium, or Beryllium? Now get this right, you'd be one correct answer away from 500 pounds. How are you with your periodic table? Going back to the science days now, aren't we? The answer is Bismuth, yeah. Uh, you've made it to the final question. You've not done very well. You've done very well. It's time to see if you can beat the queue. Whoa, we have got eight people left in the game. If we don't get a winner, it'll roll over till tomorrow lunchtime, okay? Are you ready for this? Best of luck to all eight of you. Here's Q12. Of the following Star Wars films, which received the most Oscar nominations? Episode one, The Phantom Menace, Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, or Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. This is a £500, it's just eight of you left out of 7,000 players. Well done, of course, if you are one of those eight people. The answer I can reveal is Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Three winners! Wow, uh, let me read out your names then. I can't actually see, to be honest. Uh, Alex Tomo, Missy Dave, and Blob of Blob. Well done, congratulations. <laughs> Great names. Uh, you'll be sharing £500. Wow. Uh, don't forget, we love to see our winners. Send us a video of you celebrating. And you know what? Just because we're nice, we'll give you a free life. Uh, Charlie's back tonight at 7 and 8.30 with more chances for you to win cash. And I'll be back at 3 p.m. today with the free at three. All you've got to do is answer three questions in a row and win a free life. It really is that easy. Until then, I've been Marina Berry. You've been extraordinary. See you at three.